Hi everybody, welcome back to my channel. This is Joni Young and today I'm going to be showing you the full video of how I painted this fantasy landscape. Now if you've watched the first half of me painting just the sky, you can go ahead and skip through this and if not, for those of you who haven't, here's the full video for you step by step. I hope you enjoy this. Now let's get started. We're working on an 18 by 24 stretched canvas. I've primed it white first and I'll list all the colors and brushes below in the description box for you. I've got some phthalo blue, sap green, burnt sienna, black, titanium white, and turquoise. I'll list all the colors and the brushes as I always do in the description below this video. I'm going to take my two inch large blending brush, white, and phthalo blue. I'm just going to start blending this paint around the canvas. a little bit more water. I still have that phthalo blue and white in my brush and I'm going to pull into the turquoise now a little bit more white and I'm going to begin right here. I'm going to blend it up small circles. This really helps to get that paint coverage. And I just think that adding a little bit of turquoise to the sky can be really pretty. So now that we've got a nice coverage, I'm going to come in and start painting some puffy clouds. So I've got a one inch oval and this is Princeton. I'm going to get a little bit of water on my brush. White paint. And I'm just going to start pulling that paint around. Twirling my brush. Making all those little half circles or full circles if you want. I often go clockwise then counterclockwise for painting clouds. I'm basically going to do the same thing for all of my clouds, just those half circles or full circles and come around in different directions with them and I've just decided to speed this part up a little bit because it took quite a long time to do. Now if you want to watch the full video, no breaks at all, I'll have a link below just for how to paint skies. Okay, so I'm going to pick up more white and continue to do this same technique. Little half circles, kind of twisting with my brush, layering over existing ones to build up some depth. And then I want to take a large mop brush, it's dry, and I'm just going to very lightly blend out some of that paint to give them a very soft airbrushed kind of a look and add the excess paint inside of those clouds. I'll take more with my oval brush again. If you don't have an oval brush you can use a mop brush, you can use a filbert brush, you can even use a fan brush. show you another brush that I like to use for clouds and it's a filbert. Pull into the paint and then I wiggle and push the paint right on the tip of my brush. Add some smaller ones right up in here. Okay, 
guess I'll just show you how to do a few sun rays here. Got my number 11 flat brush. Gonna get a little bit wet first. So what you want is water down. Definitely not dripping, but water down loose, thin, transparent paint. And which way do we want the sun rays going? Maybe, maybe this way? We'll start from here. We can go over this edge here too if we take some of that off. That's okay. It's really easy to, to fix that. So I'll line my brush up here. If my paint's not blending well, then I know I need more water. I can make some of them brighter. Like that, and then I take a bit more white paint. Add it up there, and I have one right in here too. I'm going to go to my little liner brush. It's one, number one. Whoops, got a little drip there. It's okay. And just start adding some little squiggles in like this. I'm going to put some of these in front. So yes, you want those kind of circly round shaped clouds, but you also want to have little imperfect squiggly lines and vein types of patterns in your clouds. And this is where I have the most fun painting them. I have to take a little bit of turquoise with my white and add some pretty little turquoise ones in here. And maybe do the same with some phthalo blue. And maybe down here. We'll have some darker blue and then add a highlight on top like that. And right about here, I'm going to bring another puffy white cloud, a little bit of turquoise in it. white on one of my, this is my oval brush. I think maybe Maybe we've either got a castle here or some trees. I don't know yet. Okay, it's a castle. Just because of this little opening right there, that's made me decide that this is gonna be a little castle. So, I've got my number six flat brush. I'm gonna take a little bit of white, and I'm going to do a little line like that. Oh, there Tilly decided she wanted to go in her bed. I'm just going to add a little, little peak. I don't know what these are called. Okay, 
Okay, something just kind of simple like that. And then I'm gonna get a little bit of blue. Go up and back down. I want a little shadow underneath those little roofs, roofs. edges of some of these because if your sky is really light back there then you're gonna have to do that so what if well, this will be cool what if we have some stairs that are just kind of floating over here and it goes down and over that's kind of fun, isn't it? Take a little bit of white. Maybe little lines like that. just kind of disappears back there. And I think I'm going to add a little bit more of my white in here. Just little dabs like that. A little bit of the blue came through there. That works well because we need to have some little shadows in here. Little dabs for, dots and dabs for some windows. And let's have some, some vines or something here that's just kind of dangling down. We could take a little bit of our green, a little bit of black and brown maybe. Maybe they'll have some trees in here too. Just kind of line our brush up here, pull and flick with the bottom of your brush. I really have nothing in mind right now. I'm completely just winging this and you might not even get to see this video. If this is a big flop, then I won't be posting it. So we will see. And I think I'm gonna have something right here. There's a little circle right here that formed along the way and a drip. So how can I I want to be really creative with this. How can I incorporate that into this painting? Take a little bit of black. Come around like this. Maybe we're going to have some little trees, something twisting down in here. Maybe this will be a tree right here. And those are the roots coming down and then maybe this is another little portal here. And maybe there's gonna be a little waterfall coming out of there. So I used to paint these back when I lived in Golden. I would set up at the farmer's markets on Saturdays sometimes by the pedestrian uh, square or the spirit square and the pedestrian bridge. Just kind of overlooking the beautiful Kicking Horse River and I would do live painting and I would work on at that time I was working on a series of fantasy treehouse paintings and I will add a link below to this one I have one video um, with those style of paintings and they were great big 
uh, tree houses up in the sky with lots of little, it's like a whole village I would paint inside of them. I think I actually have the painting in here somewhere. If I don't forget, then I'll show you guys. Okay, so now I'm gonna take, this kind of like the tree trunk right here and the little bit of floating world land there. I, mean, I think I might do like a few different floating worlds in this one, we'll see. I'm gonna take burnt sienna and black and I'm gonna turn my brush sideways, okay? And I'm gonna pull in, flick down, so sideways, dragging, and then I'm gonna make it skinnier and skinnier. So a little bit longer here towards the center and then turning my brush using just the corner of it and we can just have some little dangly vines or tree roots or whatever they are. Okay, I'm going to take more of this brown now and start twisting it. I love trees that have just the twisted, most cool, whimsical looking tree roots. Okay, so there's some branches. We have to have a few little branches in here. And you can use a liner brush for this. I'm not worried too much because I know I'm going to cover most of it up, but I need to have a little something showing. You can make some of them sweep down like this. Maybe have a random one that comes down here. And let's switch over. Do I have any mop brushes left? I've got this little one that I can use. And I'm going to take my sap green with a little tiny bit of black a little bit of black there even tap into a bit of that blue that I've got a little bit of sable blue white sap green and black okay so I'm gonna push like this I'm not going straight on and I'm gonna tap in little little sections like this all right, then I'm going to add a little bit here and a little bit there. And then I'm going to continue with a bit of uh, bushes back here where we're going to have some more trees. Now, while I have this brush loaded up with paint, I may as well not waste that paint. So I'm thinking, where else do I want to have a little, a little world? How about... Right here, we can have maybe some stairs or something coming up here, leading us right to another little floating world. Just something small right there. So this looks scary, right? Like I made a big mistake. This is just to remind me that I'm going to have stairs here. So we'll have one there. And I'll just pull down, pull and flick down like this. I'm going to pull and flick up. Just like that. I'm going to tap what will be trees. So I just, I don't want to waste this paint, you know? And I know I'd go back and do this anyway, so I'm just going to add a few little trees there. And we're going to have, yeah, some stairs right around there. I'm going to go right on the edge of my canvas and have this wrapping around and joining up with this. And where this goes, I'm not sure. Maybe it goes behind there. We could just create a whole world. Maybe... Where else could we have? I feel like I just want to have one more. Right here. And so while I've got my handy little brush here, I'm going to take some yellow. So I'm going to take a bit of yellow here. 
little bit of white. I'm gonna twirl my brush around to create a nice little light shade here. And I'm going to tap a few little highlights in here. Switch over to my other hand. And we need something under here. So maybe we'll have bit of grass. And see how I just leave a little spot like that so it'll look like it's water. A little bit of grass here and take some more black and green. Okay, you're still using that same brush. And tap. Oh, that's cool. It looks like little bits of grass. Come up a little bit higher with it. Take some of my burnt sienna. And add that right there. And then even a little bit there. I take my liner, some black, and we'll just start painting some little tree trunks. Tree trunks and branches. Gonna have some. I'm gonna take a little bit of water. I'm gonna have some then. Maybe this tree root is having some little little tree roots dangling down here. More water. Picking up a little bit of black now, guys. Back to that black again. Some more branches. This is supposed to be our little lake in here, so I'm gonna take that off and bring that right back. Got some blue and some white. Pull that in there. A little bit more white this time. And you guessed it, waterfalls. So it drops down there and then into here. Then we've got another set right here. I think I'm envisioning one right here as well. I want this one to have lots of waterfalls. So you can hop around from one little world to the other one. We've got our little castle world and whatever this is gonna be. And then we've got our waterfall world here. And then maybe up here, I'm not too sure yet. Haven't got there yet. A 
Okay. I've got a tiny mop brush here. I'm gonna go back into my yellow, yellow and white. There's a little bit of green on there, but that's okay. I'm mainly using just the top of this little handy brush. It's such a great brush. I really recommend getting mop brushes in every size. Let's put some little bushes in here. So we're adding some depth to our trees now. It's fun because there's really like no rules. You can just do what you want. I'm going to add some little bushes coming down here. Oh, isn't that cool? The way this is tapping the shape on the bottom here, it's kind of making them look like they were ferns. Just going to make this lighter in here. Just kind of pull that up. I'm going to highlight here. See, while you have your brush and the colors for highlighting, you want to use that everywhere you can so you're not constantly washing your brush out and then going back and making those colors again when you don't need to. I think I might be enjoying this painting more than uh, the last two or three that I've done. How many have I done? I did. Maybe this is the third floating world one. I've been painting a lot of fantasy lately anyways. This is where our little staircase is going to go. And I'm going to add a little mossy staircase. Because that's how I like to do my little paths and staircases. I like to have moss covered ones. Because in my world, everything's covered with moss and vines, ferns, and you know I'm lucky, so lucky to live where I do because it's, it's actually I'm living in one of my worlds, just not up in the sky, <laughs> but we, everything around here is just covered in ivy, moss, and all those pretty vines, little flowers. This is just the outside underneath part of the stairs. I have some moss hanging kind of in there. Just have a little something right in there too, I think. I want to come right on the edge here. And sometimes what I like to do is continue my landscapes all along the outside edges of the canvas. Like if you get any of those um, canvases that are one to two inches deep, it's fun to continue a painting and landscape all around it. That way from every angle you're looking at it when it's hanging on your wall, you're seeing a different um, angle to it and seeing the artwork. Okay, so what I want to do right now actually is just incorporate some warmth up here, have like a sunlit glow on here. So I'm running out of my yellow. I'm actually just about all out of this yellow. And I'm going to take a little bit of neon red. I'm going to make my favorite fuzzy peachy color. I've got my little zero size Filbert brush, take a bit of each color, see how you don't, you really don't need very much, and then just a little bit of that lemon yellow. I'm going to tint it a shade or two lighter here. See, yeah, that'll look pretty. And I'm going to add right over top of the white. This 
golden glow. So wherever you want to have a little bit of that. And you know, it's really pretty, so I think I'm going to add it in a few different areas here. I like to tint my clouds anyways. I don't ever want them to be just white. Let's put a little, little light right in here. Same colors. And let's continue to do that. We'll maybe have a little house in here, so I'm just going to add the light. And maybe there's another one right here. We'll have little, little cottages. We could add some inside of our castle too. I'm going to have to make this castle a little bit darker. And I'm going to add a little bit of my light pinky neon red. Just add a little bit of a warm glow right here. Maybe right up here. Maybe we'll have a tiny little cabin there. Now I'm starting to really get into this painting. I want to have little cabins everywhere. Take a little bit more of my brown here. Add some highlights. Highlights in here. Along these stairs. Those little lines. See how quickly you can do that? And maybe this one's going to come around here and meet up right in there. So I'm going to add a little bit of black and green around my little staircase here. And then up. So tap for bushes. And then wherever you want to, the side turns around right here. We're going to have some little dangly vines and, and rocks and stuff or whatever. I don't know, just make it up. That'll come around. Up there, really giving this some flow and some movement. It's so much fun to create these. I love that I'm able to share this with you guys. I'm so glad that I decided to do YouTube. The response so far has been really good. The more my videos get watched and commented on, um, the more you guys, the more YouTube puts my videos out there and lets other people be able to discover my channel. So it's up to you guys to watch my videos. It's all up to you. Watch them, share them, commenting on them. Pull this out a little bit more. Exaggerate the edges here a bit more. All right, I love the flow that this has. This is very fun. Maybe I'll come up and exaggerate that a little bit too. Almost feels like a little roller coaster. Add a bit more shadow in here. So 
So I wouldn't say that this is, this is the first time I think I'm gonna say that this is not a beginner level painting because I'm doing this quite quickly and I'm hopping back and forth a lot. You might need to slow this video down, pause it. Um, I'm just kind of in one of my creative modes where it's all just kind of flowing to me quite quickly and I have to I have to stick with it while it does otherwise I tend to forget. I'm just taking a little bit of yellow, green, black and white. And I want a little bit more yellow, so I'm going to pick up that and then tap and push it on the tip of my brush. I'm going to add a little bit of small detailed bushes in here. Okay, so that's our little staircase right in there. And it comes up and then down. add a little bit of that green moss or vines hanging down there too. And we'll come down here and re-add a little bit. Don't want to forget about the edge there. And we've got some little trees in here. We'll add some branches in and, and make this a little bit more detailed in here too. I want to get right in here as well, this side. So we're going to go with that whimsical curve. It's like a little bridge, right? We've got a little bridge there. And then maybe it continues over here, goes back down. This has a real fun vibe to it. Add some highlights. Make my light yellowy green color again. This was meant to be a uh, shorter video but I can see that's not happening. This is turning into another probably well over an hour video. That's the thing, you just never know what's going to happen when you start painting. So I'm just going around either side of this little staircase or path. Adding all these little highlights in. And just that light yellow and white. And it's got a little bit of green in it. Right, I'm not washing my brush out. I'm working out a little bit more of it each time. So it's going to get lighter and lighter, and that's what I want. I want to have a nice bright highlight here that's going to really show up once it dries. So we've got a moss covered roof here on our house.
in the front. I'm going to add a little bit of brown in here. Do the same thing. So we're left with like a little window. So I actually want this one to be going in front. I don't want both of them wrapped around. This one's going in the front and this one goes behind. Right in here, picking up a little bit of blue and white. We'll have that dripping down right in front. And add a little bit more there. We've got a few different waterfalls. I'll we'll actually take a little bit of black right in here. Dab a little bit of green on there. Back to my liner brush. I'm going to take a little bit of white, yellow, and red. And add a little highlight on this tree and a few branches. And then just start adding. A bit more to this house. All lines like that. A little bit of black and green. We'll add some shadow in here. little dabs for doors and windows, a little chimney, a little bit of white like that. White inside that window. I just like to do three windows for some reason. So I've got a couple little cabins there, and maybe some light pink shutters. I'll add a little bit of that pinky red to this one. 
a window right here. Maybe there's a little one off to the side. And a little chimney. Just a little bit of a line like that. And then, it's going to be see-through, right? But we know there's just a little indication right here that there's some smoke. use some flowers in this painting so I'm gonna use this little round brush and I'm gonna take my pink and my white or my red and my white and maybe add a few little flower bushes along the side like this A little bit of white. I'm going to go back to my liner brush and I'm going to take my yellow and green. That same yellowy green and white mixture. And do a little roof on this little house here. Tiny little green cabin. And we've got some stairs that wrap around. And meet down here. I'm just going to take some green and go in between, a little bit of green and black. In between. I can see these stairs a little bit better. back to my little, tiny filbert brush and a little bit of yellow and make this look a little bit more indistinct farther away so just running some yellow over on top of part of those stairs and around the side Got all these fun little worlds. I wonder who lives in these little tree houses in this little tree world, floating worlds in the sky. So 
Just adding a little bit of shadow, you guys, with the sat green. Maybe I'll have a little lake here with some waterfalls because this is kind of flowing in from here. So, uh, phthalo blue and white. Right in here. A little bit more white. Take a little bit more of my blue and add some more details on this little castle here. A little bit more depth, right? Because it's not really showing up against everything else. You get it really white right on the edge where it's going to fall down. I think we need a little lake right here. And I'm envisioning that again. Even though I said this was going to be the waterfall world. Feeling like I just need a little sense of balance right here with a few more waterfalls. I'm kind of just going with my theme lately. So I just keep picking up a little bit of white on the tip of my brush. And I pull over and drop. Get to do a few more details on these stairs. I'll take a little bit of yellow and white. I need to give another highlight to these bushes. So back I go to a little mop brush with yellow and white. I just want it on the very top. The very tops like that to make them stand out a little bit more. Back to my liner brush, water, burnt sienna, and black. A little 
tree right here. Tree branches. Bit more water in my brush. And pull it around and give this. Now this is looking sort of Celt Celtic to me. That's interesting. I never planned on that. I'm just adding little bits of black and brown to add a little bit more kind of land in here. And then right here. So it's usually where it curls around and comes down here. So this curls around, so then I'm going to have a little bit coming down in here. Here again. A little bit like that. So you can take a little filbert brush like this, some green and some yellow, and you can add a little bit to break up all that same black-brown color, and just instantly incorporate some little green vines to this. Just grab a little bit more of my yellow. I think I'm almost done. I think I want to do one more. Little bush right in there that's just a little bit bigger. So I'm going to take my yellow. Yellow and white. Just like that. Just need it to be a little bit bigger in some areas. Go over that just a little bit more. A bit in there. What else I haven't used? I need to use a little bit of this light blue violet. Push right up 
where that peachy light color is that we added. I'm going to add a little bit in here. This is just for a bit more of a dramatic shadow. You can just pick a few spots where you want to add it. Oh my gosh, that looks like, is anybody else seeing a heart? That looks like a heart, doesn't it? Oh, that is cool. I don't know, maybe it's just me. That just kind of jumped out at me right now. I feel like this area in here is just a little bit too dark. I just got a little bit of light pink. Take my liner brush with a little bit more of this pink in here. Make it look like there's some rocks and it's just not all the same flat lines going down. I want to make it look more 3D. Take a little bit of white and go one side and brighten these up. You can stand out a little bit more. Okay, I'm going to call this painting all done. It's been one and a half hours. I think I might have to do a lot of editing for this video. That's what I'll be doing the rest of the evening. We're all done, Tailgate. It's time to go in the house now. So I want to thank you guys so much again for joining me. Let me know what you think of this video. Please subscribe to my channel for more. I'll see you next time, you guys. Bye for now.